As I walk down this hall and see all these that are on the wall, that are going out on teams to Zambia to put in water filters and to New Zealand to help on an earthquake team and to Russia to do a sports team and even to Borneo to build a new Bible school. And they're so grateful for all these guys and gals that are coming. In fact, I just got a report from uh, the office and as of the 1st of February, uh, we had uh, uh, 328 guys and gals already signed up to, to go this summer. And uh, the only thing that's missing in this picture is you. And we like to have your picture right up here. Uh, maybe you could go to Mount Kilimanjaro and, and we share the gospel on Mount Kilimanjaro with a backpack. We like to have you a part. Or maybe go to Zimbabwe to one of our, one of my favorite teams is a foot washing team. Where we go to an AIDS orphans rescue unit out in the bush and we actually wash those orphans feet and put shoes on them. Boy, you'll come back totally different. So we'd like to invite you to be a part of one of these teams that's going out this summer. Um, we have people out recruiting now at Winter Jam. Uh, one of our staff is traveling with New Song. In fact, they tell me that New Song is going to wear a team, TMI t-shirts one night in their presentation. Our staff is uh, going to be in 24 cities uh, uh, sharing. And uh, we thank the Lord for all those that are coming. So there'll be a lot more that are signing up, but there's still room for you. And we'd like to have your picture on this wall. Um, what are you gonna do this summer? Now's the time to start planning. And you can, you can make a splash. You could spend the time in the pool with summer and, and get to sun that, or you could make a difference in this world. There's thousands and thousands of orphans and other people that need your help. This summer, rather than just make a splash in the pool, why don't you make a difference? Come and join us at the Lord's Boot Camp and go someplace around the world where you can really make a difference. We look forward to seeing you at the Lord's Boot Camp this summer. Hey guys, so today we're here with Amber Tuttle. She's on staff here at Team Missions and she's also a team member mom. Today she's gonna show us how she helps her kids pack for their summer team. Okay guys, the first thing you're gonna need is a sturdy cardboard box or a rubber tote like this. If you decide to use the rubber tote, you do need to check with your specific airline regarding size limitations. Um, before you even start packing, please make sure that you thoroughly read the general fact sheet as there's been some changes regarding clothing and the weight limit has gone from 40 down to 35. Now be aware that weight limit is for when you leave for the field from boot camp. You can arrive at boot camp with more things and then you can in turn donate clothes you don't want to the missionary barrel and that'll be given to children in Africa or you can leave clean clothes in the food warehouse in your specific team bin to retrieve when you come back for debrief. Ziplocs are very important. You, want, you can roll your clothes and put them in a Ziploc bag that keeps them dry in your tent. You want to label the bag and you also want to make sure that you're labeling everything with your name and your team number. Uh, one of the things that will really be beneficial to you this summer is baby wipes. I do recommend bringing several containers of that. It's very hot and sticky in Florida. Another helpful thing is laundry detergent sheets that they now have that you can just put down in your bucket. It, it really helps with your weight limit and it produces all the suds that you need. You can pack your bucket right into your tub and you can put things in that bucket such as a compact sleeping bag. A lightweight one like this can be very helpful with your weight limit. You also want to bring tons of socks. I recommend a pair of socks for every day. You want to carry those with you at all times for when your feet might get wet running the obstacle course. Another helpful thing is to have a small sling backpack for while you're at boot camp to carry the things that you need with you all day long, such as your Bible, toothbrush, sunscreen, flashlight, all those types of things. All these are things that can help you, and I recommend that you visit our website and go to the forum. Well, several other former team members will make recommendations on what was helpful to them over the summer. Thank you, look forward to seeing you this summer. I want to talk to you again this month on some creative fundraising ideas to help you raise your funds for the summer. The foundation of your support team is going to come from your friends, your family, and your church members. Make a list, divide them into three categories, list everyone that you can think of, send out all of these prayer letters and all these prayer cards, get them into the hands of people. God's going to raise up the people to support you. These people are not only going to give their financial support, but these are going to be the ones that are going to encourage you and pray for you throughout the summer. I talked to a team member the other day that told me that for her team, her mom and her baked pies sold the pies for donations and sold over 30 pies during the holidays. Easter's coming up, it would be a good time for this fundraiser. 
Another team member told me that she went and to the local Home Depot or Lowe's and bought stencils and spray paint and did a service project in her neighborhood where she spray painted the house numbers on the curbs in front of the houses for a donation. I just remember that whatever you do, a car wash, a spaghetti supper, um, any of these ideas that you do for a donation and not for a set price, you'll always receive more money. Remember to pray and trust God to provide. Galatians 3.3 says, Are you so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, are you now trying to attain your goal by human effort? We're praying for you here every day, and we can't wait to see you at boot camp. Hi, my name is David Powell. I work here on staff at Team Missions, and I just wanted to take a minute to encourage you today. Uh, we're familiar with the story of Jesus getting a few loaves of bread and fish from a young boy and feeding 5,000 people with it. And it's interesting that when we give things to God, God tends to multiply those things. And also we're familiar with the parable he tells of a master who gives three servants a sum of money. And two of those servants go out and earn more money with that money. And the master's pleased when he comes back and sees they've earned more. But the last servant dug a hole and hid that money in the ground. And it says that the master was displeased with that servant. Well, I want to encourage you to realize that God multiplies what we give to him. So as you're trying to raise funds and prepare for your trip this summer, I just want to ask you, what are you giving? What are you serving? How are you serving? What are you giving to God so that he can multiply it? And for the parents who are questioning whether they want to send their kids around the world, I want to encourage you that if you hold your child back from serving the Lord, that's like the servant who dug that hole and hid that talent. You need to give what God has given to you back to Him so that He can multiply it and grow His kingdom. Hi, my name is Jamie Byler and I'm a student here at Teen Missions Bible Missionary and Work Training Center. BMW is a Bible school that specializes in missions. The first two years are in classes and the third year is an internship. This is my first term here and we're taking a Spiritual Life 2 class uh, we're going through the book Pursuit of Holiness by Jerry Bridges and it's a really challenging book. It talks about how holiness really is important to Christ in our walk, um, not just in our attitudes but also in our actions and motives. BMW is really fun and really challenging. I've created a lot of um, lasting and very valuable friendships here. All of my fellow um, students here are very encouraging and encourage me to just keep my focus on Christ while I'm here. Florida Free Bible Missionary and Work Training Center, or better known as BMW, is a great opportunity for you. The free aspect in Florida Free is the fact that you will go to the mission field debt free because your tuition and your housing and food is paid for while you are here. So if you're interested in learning more about the Lord and the Bible as well as training for the mission field, this is definitely the place for you.